All right, we made it to our destination, kind of. It's about a quarter mile down this hill. And what we're talking about is the Monterey Bay Aquarium, located right there along the beach. We had to park in a distance because all the parking down there is taken. And the only parking garage is $24 for eight hours, and we were not gonna do that. We're walkers, we need to exercise, so let's go ahead, get the baby set up, get the stroller out, get Heather off her phone, and then we're gonna head out towards Monterey Bay Aquarium. Can never be too safe parking on a hill, so make sure you guys don't forget the driver's ed. Wheel towards the curb on a hill. Bye, car. And hello, aquarium. Woo. Quick little first look once you come in here. So in honor of Veterans Day, they're doing free tickets from, was it Friday through Sunday? And today's Saturday, so we got in for free. And the tickets are usually about $50. Kelp Forest. Ooh, the deep reef. Skeleton. It's that guy right there. Tell me that doesn't look like a face. You got the nose, eyes, little mouth and beard. I think the fish think so too. Is that a shark? Is that a shark? There, can you guys spot another one? There's actually three of them. One, two, three. There's another one right there. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. That's so cool. Look at that starfish. Just coasting around the bottom of the ocean. Use your eyes, but not your hands. They got a live little reef out here. Skim this over. It'll magnetize for you. Shark. Skeleton shrimp. These guys are so small. You gotta use this to see them, but let's see if I can point them out to you. See them all just kind of chilling out. So these guys swim and eat on algae. Yeah. 
Let's go see what types of things you can find underneath the wharf. So here's the theming. Whole bunch of stuff living in here. As you can tell, people's junk actually turns into little objects that make a home for somebody else. Don't get that confused with thinking it's okay to litter. Next up, Rocky Shore. What do you see? What do you see? Here's a little difference in tide. Oh, as you can tell, big difference, huh? Pretty cool time lapse. It's crazy how clear these tanks are. They're like crystal clear. We need a fish tank like that. If you want to experience a wave crash? Come over here. Make it look really cool with this beanie on. It's not that cool. Now that I think about it, all that water that comes out, I guarantee it comes straight from the ocean. So we can sample all the different tides. The high, mid, to low. So right outside from that wave tank, here's the outdoor portion. Pretty neat out here. Here comes the wave. Where's it at? There it is. No? Okay. delicacy or big books you get a free dive to actually get these things and the majority of the time there's shark infested water so that's how I figured that out it was on shark week mission to the deep So it looks like that was basically just a 360 video. Tentacles. I feel like we're gonna see an octopus in here. Or some type of squid. Five hundred million years old. These things are around with the dinosaurs. Like 
Which way to Wallaby Way Street? Over to Baja. It's the type of fish you would see. Ah, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? This is an aquarium. Look at those guys. Scorpion. Glows in the dark. Check out the size of this hermit crab. This guy's seen some things. Look how big he is. So, look down fish. Basically asking you to do your part, keep the ocean clean. take the stairs anymore with the stroller. Little puffins. Always love these guys because they're little feet. You see their feet? you guys I challenge you guys to play your part what's that mean it means clean up after yourself clean up the beach don't litter keep your plastics away from the beach because that can be 
misguided food for certain individuals like turtles because they think trash bags are jellyfish. Nope, I'm not going to do it for you. You got to hold it. You got to hold it. You got to do it. Good job, big boy. Whenever these packs of dolphins are heading, pretty sure towards the open sea. some moon jellyfish for you. Mine were a lot smaller, they were babies. However, pretty unique pet to have. So that's the belly. All the food's gonna accumulate down there. That's what makes them call them moons, is if you look at the little horseshoe shapes. It represents a half moon. Just below, that's where we were standing before when you saw the school of fish. Same tank, we're just upstairs now. So the open sea, that's what you guys see in front of us. Full of big sea turtles, sunfish. Actually saw a sunfish on one of the boats that we were on. Navy ship, I should say. Pretty cool. There's the school of fish from above. Looking like a little tornado down there. that you can come sit down depending how much you want to look at all this stuff I guess you're personally all day <laughs> from out here before we leave. That's 
pretty much gonna wrap up our trip over at Monterey Bay Aquarium, right down that way. Heading back to the car, hopefully it's still there. We parked in a spot that was kind of iffy, but there was nothing saying that we couldn't park there, but everywhere else there were signs, so I don't know. We didn't feel like paying $25 for eight hours of parking down there. Find it kind of a rip off, plus we need the exercise, like I said before. Um, good trip. I personally thought it was overrated. As soon as we get to the car, we'll ask Heather's opinion on the aquarium. Uh, one thing to take note is the jellyfish has probably the highlight of the aquarium. Most aquariums will have jellyfish, but not in that type of variety and not in the size that they had over at Monterey. So, uh, yeah, once we get to the car, we'll get Heather's feedback for you guys. Back in the car, obviously didn't get a ticket or there's no boot on my car, so that was a good thing. Secondly, I'm gonna pass it off to Heather. Heather, go ahead and tell us one thing you liked, one thing you disliked about this place, and what you would recommend for them. What I did like is that the aquarium is right on the water and it's like super peaceful. The weather is really nice right now, so that made it added to the ambiance. Um, one thing I didn't like is the parking is ridiculous and it was overpriced. But seeing sea animals was nice. Seeing them contribute to the sea life. Conservation of sea life, is that what it is? The conservation, whether it be picking up trash, using recyclables, um, little things like that, staying away from plastic bags. They preach that a lot. Other than that, we enjoyed our time, I think. Anyways, you could tell that they really cared about the ocean here. And it was also a non-profit uh, aquarium, meaning everything that they make goes back to the sea life, goes back to the water, goes back to research and taking care of the sea animals. So I do think that was nice. So yeah.